It's one thing to fall in love with a book. It's another thing to fall in love with a person because of a book. I'm Anne Strandchamps. Today's bookmark is from writer Susan Orlean. My bookmark is a classic. It's The Sound and the Fury by William Faulkner. It's the first book that I ever began rereading before I finished reading it. I was so swept away, so dazzled, so truly astonished by the book that I had gone on vacation with my family and we were somewhere wonderful and warm and beachy and I wouldn't leave the hotel room. I just wanted to read that book and then I began rereading it at the same time. Fast forward many years and I get fixed up with a guy. And I'm told he's an investment banker and I thought, I don't want to go out with an investment banker. But he was a friend of a friend, and I thought, I don't want to be rude, so I'll go. To be honest, I didn't know what investment bankers did, but I didn't like the sound of it. (laughs) I went, and I met this man, and I thought, I'm just going to tolerate this and get out as soon as possible. And we sat down for dinner, and for some reason he said to me, what's your favorite book? And I thought, well, I'm going to stump him and sort of turn the tables. I said, what's your favorite book? Thinking he'd say, you know, Investment Banking 101. And he said, The Sound and the Fury. My husband. (laughs) There you go. And we had a ritual for the first years that we knew each other, where once a year we'd go away for a weekend and read the book together. I know. (laughs) I know. It's just too wonderful. I still don't know what investment bankers do, but I'm... (laughs) But you married one. Yes, I'm, I'm safe. Never underestimate the romantic potential of a classic. That's Susan Orlean on stage at the National Writers Series in Traverse City. The book she and her investment banker fell in love with, The Sound and the Fury by William Faulkner. You can hear the rest of our conversation at ttbook.org slash bookmarks, a production of To the Best of Our Knowledge.